Hey, this is Squat, and in this video, I want to tell you about the uh, hedgehog signaling. Hedgehog signaling is very important in neural development, especially in embryo and also skin cancer and medulloblastoma. Specific subtype of skin cancer called the basal cell carcinoma is known to have problem in the hedgehog signaling. Basal cell carcinoma is the most common cancer in the United States. And medulloblastoma is one of the common childhood central nervous system cancers. And there are multiple uh, medulloblastoma subtypes. One of the subtypes is called the Sony hedgehog subtype. So hedgehog is in ligand in brain, including cases of medulloblastoma. The Ligand is called sonic hedgehog, but in general we call it hedgehog. And this ligand acts kind of locally, not too soluble. And the ligand is going to bind to specific receptor of target cell. And this receptor is called patch to one. And the receptor has 12 transmembrane domains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And there's another receptor which is smoothened. And this smoothen receptor is a GPCR. It has seven transmembrane domains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And when hedgehog is not bound, patched one is actively suppressing smoothened from working. What would smooth one do otherwise? Smooth one would bind, interact with this intracellular protein complex. This one is a protein called GLI. This one is called SUFU. SUFU stands for suppressor of fused. SUFU's role is to hold on to GLI and not let go of GLI because GLI is a transcription factor. So SUFU works with other proteins together to keep GLI in place. Otherwise, GLI can access the nucleus and start changing the gene expression of this cell. It's a dangerous outcome. And now, if this hedgehog molecule binds to patched, then patched gets activated and patched stops inhibiting smoothened. And smoothened can now do its job of breaking up glee from the SUFU complex. And glee is now free to go to the nucleus and change the expression of genes. And depending on this cell that receives the hedgehog ligand, could be neural cell or skin cell, Glee can help transcribe different set of proteins and the cell changes its properties. And in basal cell carcinoma, one of the most mutated gene goes for patched one. Without patched one working properly, smoothened is not inhibited and smoothened can break up the glee from the suppression complex. And the second most common mutation in basal cell carcinoma is smoothened. Patch 1 mutation is loss of function mutation, but this second most common mutation is the gain of function mutation of smoothened. With this mutation, smoothened doesn't care about the patch 1 inhibition. Smoothened will go ahead and help release glee from the SUFU complex. Both of these lead to glee being free and changing the gene expression, changing the cellular properties. And finally, let me talk about two compounds that can stop the hedgehog signaling. The first compound is called cyclopamine. And this compound is from a plant called corn lily. If a pregnant goat eats this plant, the pregnant goat's baby will have problem in its neural development because cyclopamine suppresses the hedgehog signaling and hedgehog signaling is needed for the neural development of these goats. The exact way the cyclopamine works is by inhibiting the sonic hedgehog ligand. Without the ligand, there's no signaling. And then the second molecule that blocks this pathway is called vismodegiv. Vismodegiv acts on smoothened. It's an antagonist, so it blocks smoothened releasing the glee. No smoothened releasing glee, no hedgehog signaling. So overall, cyclopamine and vismodegiv both block hedgehog signaling. In summary, the hedgehog pathway 
uses hedgehog ligand. There are many hedgehog ligands in neural cells. Sonic hedgehog is used. And hedgehog ligand activates patched. Activated patched stops inhibiting smoothened. Activated smoothened now can release glee from the SUFU suppression complex. And the free glee changes the gene expression and cellular properties.